seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. She'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, guys? It's me, Rocky X. Coming at you today on some more Ark Survival Evolved. Ark Survival Evolved with the Sons of Anarchy with a K. Ark Extinction. 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 Sir. Uh, oh, this is awkward. It was worth a shot, I suppose. Hey, it's Wombat. It's not Rocky. What's up, everybody? How you doing today? Hanging out, like pre-recorded Rocky said, on the Sons of Anarchy Extinction server. Having a great, wonderful time. Hope you guys are all having a good day as well. We have plans for the day. Um, we are going to go tame stuff. And um, stuff's going to happen. I've got some things going on here at base. We, so we all three have a base on the server. T-Bunny, uh, way down here, is pretty much like far advanced from both of us. And then uh, Rocky's got his little thing going on across the land bridge over there. And this is uh, Wombatville. Wombat Lane, I think, is what I shall name the street out here. We'll call it um, Wombat Lane. And it's going to be cool. I'll put up a sign. It'll be a neat thing. But! Um, yeah, so we're gonna uh, see things from over here today. I hope you guys do enjoy the episode If you do don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and uh, Subscribe if you haven't done it already for more amazing fun arc action now I was thinking for the day what we were gonna do is uh, Go tame stuff obviously obviously we're gonna tame things, but I want to go get a beaver last episode We got a dodicarus which is amazing for getting all of the uh, stone stuff and in extinction it's also amazing for getting uh, element dust and crystal as well if you hit the light posts and benches and things like that we also got a couple ankylos which is amazing for metal we need a uh, wood gatherer is what we need now I already have a thatch machine over here we tamed on the very first episode uh, megalolevelos <laughs> actually maybe possibly needs a few levels I think health a little bit, maybe get that health up, uh, and wait, because, yeah, and maybe a little stamina while we're at it. Get this dude all leveled up, and um, now we need a wood gatherer. So, we're gonna go out and look for a beaver. Now, I do things uh, just a wee bit different than your boy Rocky. Um, we're, <laughs> I'm not using crossbow, I'm tired of it. I like Rocky went through like three quarters of the Pugnacious series using crossbow. I don't understand why, I don't know. I don't know, there's something wrong with the boy. We're making long neck rifles. I've got some metal going. I've got us a smithy set down. I've got some uh, narcotic stuff being made up over here. Um, it should be like done, right? Yeah, T-Bunny's got crops downstairs already. I pretty much just stole her crops and spoiled meat. Don't tell her. Um, but we got that stuff going on, so we're good to go there. And uh, I'm just kind of waiting. While we wait for that stuff to do its thing, let's take a little tour. Let me show you the place. It's pretty amazing. And that concludes the tour of my base so far. So pretty much this is all we have. We don't have much of anything. I did put up kind of a nice decorative wall. Uh, I think it looks kind of cool. It's got a dino gate so we can keep stuff in there for the time being. There's actually a pretty handy little ramp that gets us all down, um, down to T-Bunny and everything like that. So it's really not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. It's actually kind of a really cool spot. Also, what a pretty pteranodon. Okay, not today. Stay focused. Stay focused, Wombat. Um, here's the issue with this. I think I have to take all of this down, including the foundations. And let me tell you why. You might be asking yourself, why is there, like, random blocks in the middle of base? I was trying to hide this, but it's just not working very well. And it just doesn't look right. So I think every bit of this is going to have to come up. There's, like, this natural, I don't know, a little planter or something like that, I guess you want to call it. But it grows weeds, so looks like, uh, looks like something I grew for sure. Uh, it's not centered. It's not, and the reason it's not centered is because I lined up my first, oh boy, this is awkward. I lined up my first foundation over here, and I wanted to make sure I got it perfectly straight, so I like started kind of over here, and then worked my way this way, um, so I could use that line to kind of get everything straight, and it's perfectly straight. The problem is it's not centered, so I think all of this is going to have to come up and go this way, um, like a little bit, not much at all. But yeah, I'm excited about that. But I think it'll be a really cool spot to build. I'd love to do like some glass wall type stuff up here. When we get to that point, maybe some bathrooms, you know? Got some natural showers in game. Uh, the bathroom, I said, not shower. The shower's over here. I wouldn't poop in the shower. That'd be weird. This is the uh, shower over here. And I think it'll work out just fine. I think it's going to be cool. Can we drink out of this, actually? Yeah, we can. Okay. Awesome stuff. So yeah, long story short, my base is um, a train wreck. Things are coming together, but it is a slow 
process and I want to go get a beaver to make the wood gathering easier. I love the look of wood with all of the um, extinction stuff. Stone looks good, but I think wood just like makes it, you know, look, I don't know. I just like the combination of the two. So we need wood. We're going to go get some of that stuff. I am going to wait for the rest of our um, materials to get together. Then we're going to put together a long neck rifle. And I think we're going to go get a beaver. Now, last time I was looking, they were all over the place, just like right down um this river a river there's a river over here not far from t bunny and um there were some cool beavers i think a level five and a level 65 i would love to get something high level and amazing but beavers are also kind of a uh, pain to tame because um they're always in packs and uh they're mean <laughs> they're mean sometimes so we'll just kind of have to see what happens i'll fly around and see if i can't spot us a good one and um we'll see if we can make it happen Alrighty, I think probably maybe all of our stuff is uh, getting close to done. Maybe we can make a long neck rifle. I bet we probably can pull the stuff. Beautiful. Actually, that was scrap stuff. That looked like scrap metal. I don't even think it pulled our metal from the forge. I think it pulled it from T Bunny stuff down there. Oh, that's awkward. Shh, we won't tell her. Everything could be just fine. Okay, we have a long neck rifle. Long story short, ammo. Um, I'm pretty sure I learned this stuff. Weapons, ammo. Um, we need to make some of these. Can we make 100? That'd be cool if we could make 100 of those. We can make 37. That's going to have to work. Yeah, that's definitely pulling scrap metal. So, that's cool. We'll make all of these up and then see if we can't get some. I feel kind of bad right now. I'm not going to lie to you. We'll get some trank darts going. But you know what? T-Bunny deserves it. That's what she gets for building down there in that location, close to me. Um, I don't feel bad for her at all. Even Yeah, I kind of feel bad, but we won't tell her. It'll be our little secret. She doesn't watch the videos, I'm sure, so we'll be fine. I'm going to get this stuff made up. I haven't been able to locate a beaver anywhere. I have not seen one. I kind of did a little bit of a fly around, um, not too far from base, like just kind of, you know, right around here. We may have to branch out a little bit. I'm really not too sure just yet. Speaking of, what are they tame with? Um, I should probably look that up. I feel like uh, crops are good for the beaver. That may be like way wrong. But if they are, I did notice that T-Bunny has some uh, narcoberry crops down there because I was able to pull them up here when I was making uh, narcotics. Maybe she's got like some other crops going. If she does, that would be super handy. So yeah, we'll just kind of have to see what we got going on. I don't really know what crop availability looks like at this point. We'll have to go down there here in a little bit and check. I'm going to wait for this stuff to all get together. Like I said, we're going to go find a beaver. We're going to... Yeah, you better get out of here. This is my house. This is my house. You're not invited. I almost walked off the edge of the map, that uh, of that base. That would have been... That would have been awkward. Anyways, once stuff gets together, we'll get supplies ready. And we're going to go look for a daggone beaver. And we're going to get it tamed. And then everyone's going to be super proud of Wombat because I'm um, the best tamer. And I'm even going to make a feeding trough before the end of the episode. And um, we're going to put food in it and it's not going to die. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. That's all you think of starved dinos all the time. Looks like you're wrong, turns out. So, let's see what happens. All right, everybody. I think we are ready to head out on a little bit of an adventure. And sure enough, T-Bunny does have crops already made up. Look at her go. We're going to steal uh, some of these, maybe just a few. I don't know how many it's going to take because I really don't know what level we're going to find yet, but I'm just going to take like way too many. That way we don't uh, run out like at all. I'm concerned about carry weight a little bit, a little bit of a carry weight problem. I probably don't need all of these foundations. Um, where can we put them? Let's go back up. <laughs> Let's speedily go back up here to base. I'm going to take a few foundations with me just because I wouldn't be Wombat if I didn't take building supplies with me everywhere I go. So uh, that's happening because you never know when you're going to need some foundations. And also, I've watched Rocky X gaming videos and I know that no tame is complete without building some sort of contraption like to um, tame creatures with. So that's got to happen as well. Let's go ahead and drop those off. Oh, we've got a lot of foundations to work with. This is good. Not a lot of walls. Plenty of fiber. Okay. Life's looking good. Let's go play. Can you fly now? A little bit? Yeah, you're way down, but I think we'll be okay. Now, what we need to do is find a castroid. Would you look at that? Oh, my goodness. Look at this beaver. Please be a good level. Please. You look so cool. Also, 
granted on land. I don't know why the uh, creatures won't land here. I was having the same problem with an owl at some point on the uh, patron server. What level are you? Oh. <laughs> level 15. We can do better than that. What level are you? Oh. Level 30. Well, that's not cool. But you know what? We really didn't go that far. Like, base is right up there. But dang it, look at the color. What a pretty lady. Why couldn't you be a good level? Oh well, that's okay. We will continue the hunt. And um, we're gonna find a good one. Like, I'm, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling lucky. We just gotta keep looking. It's gonna happen. Okay, we've run across another beaver. Oh, actually, there's two of them here. And I just checked one right down that way. It was a level 70, which isn't terrible. 15, come on, you're the one. Um, oh, you're completely not the one. The good news is there's beavers all over the place, so that's not a problem. A level 70 wouldn't be the worst thing ever. I think it would probably do okay for us, especially starting out. So we may end up taming that thing, but I'd really like to find a cooler one than that, you know what I mean? But the whole issue is um, we're kind of stuck up here. Like, I can't go way down and get one because it would just be a huge hassle to get it back home. And I know you're out thinking cryopod, but... We need a tech replicator to make a cryopod. I do believe. I'm like, I'm like 95% sure on that. And we don't have any element. Like I love extinction because all of your Ingrams come with you. And like, you're like, oh, I'm still powerful. And then <laughs> you can't make anything cool or tech related. So it's a, it's a fun mix of like technology and survival. I'm really digging extinction. This map is just like the coolest thing ever. I love it. Dang it, it looks like that level 70 is gonna be what we're gonna have to work with for the day. I tell you what, we could go on a on an adventure, I guess. I just, it's just gonna be so hard to get a beaver back home is the problem. I'll think about it. I run it over, I'm gonna do a little bit more flying around in the city. Maybe, uh, maybe there's something back there that we haven't even discovered yet that is really cool high level beaver related. So let's check that out. Okay, there is a beaver dam, right? Yeah, beaver dam in sight. Where's the beaver? Uh, he's gotta be around here somewhere, right? There it is right there, I think. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a cool looking beaver. Also, there are Titan bows in the area, in the neighborhood. So we kinda gotta be a little bit careful, but I think we'll be okay. What level are you? Why do you suck? Dang it. All the cool looking beavers are stupid low level. Is there another? Let's go ahead and uh, hop inside of this beaver dam. See if we can stir up a few more. I think there's one actually right over there. There's also a titan boa. We're just gonna do this. Then we're gonna do this. Then we're gonna hop back on our mount. Then we're gonna do this. Ha <laughs> ha! We're so smart. Uh, you got a titan boa chasing you, buddy. You have got a titan boa chasing you, sir. I told you, you were gonna get bit in the butt. Let's see how it fares in combat. This may be the one we get, depending on how awesome it is. Oh, it's gonna be a good fight. Who's gonna take the victory? Titan bow is looking bloody. And Beaver is on top. All right, also, I think it's still mad at me. So let's go over here. And, oh, why are you still peeved at me, bro? What level are you? I just need to get close enough to see your level. Oh god, that's a high level one. Oh, we're screwed. Oh, we're super screwed. Ah, dang it, it's a 150. What are the odds of that? Okay, new plan. Uh, we gotta, <laughs> dang it. We gotta get back over there real quick. Where were we at? Uh, about 50, 45. Okay, okay, 150, Beaver. You wanna do this? We can do this. I'm gonna have to borrow a mount from somebody. Who's it gonna be? Um, T-Bunny, somebody, Rocky, uh, do you, can I, yep, this one, okay, T-Bunny, your mount's going with me, we gotta go get our stuff back, it's game on, people, we got a 150 beaver, and our crosshairs, kind of, sort of, figuratively, but, uh, like, literally, here soon, when I get back to it, I'm gonna show that beaver who's boss, and, uh, we're gonna get it tamed up, I'm pretty excited, okay, we are back, we were actually not even that far from base, 150 beaver action, I'm pretty excited. Look at you. Look how pretty you are. Also, are we cool now? Can we just observe you in your natural habitat looking all cool? 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's get our stuff. Uh, most importantly of all, let's get T-Bunny's Pteranodon. Oh, God. I mean, pump a little weight, you know? Just a little bit of weight. So stop it! I'm stuck! Um, okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Let's put some of our stuff in here. We can get rid of that, 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 and that until after knockout. Um, we might need some of that. I really don't know. Let's get T-Bunny's Pteranodon, like, up here where it's good and safe while we pull this off. We cannot lose T-Bunny's Pteranodon. Also, I didn't think about this. How am I going to get back down there? <laughs> I'm a smart guy. Okay, <laughs> come on. We're going to set this Pteranodon right here. Hopefully it doesn't die. Everything's going to be just fine. You hang out right here. Enjoy the view. Uh, dang it. We need to hit this button right here. Okay. Land. Yeah. You follow me. Come here, buddy. Come on. We got, uh, we got a super cool beaver to tame. Now, actually, I was making fun of Rocky for, like, building crazy contraptions every time he tames something. But, I mean, he's kind of smart. Like, he pulls off some pretty crazy stuff. I wanted to try something out just because I have no idea how it's going to work. What if we took a few foundations? and uh just stack them like can we make it so that the beaver can't get to us like what if we do this right here and then put another one on top of it like this and then maybe put a ramp like right here will this work i really have no idea let's put our pteranodon right here should be good it should be just fine and um also did we get any armor do we have armor it's almost broken, but let's wear some clothes, maybe, so that we don't look so weird. All right, here's our chance. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're just going to have to find out together. Uh, what we don't want to do is hit the paracer. Yeah, you go on. Um, hmm, this could be a problem. Okay, it definitely works against dildos, so that's impressive. Kind of, not really. Can we... Just get rid of you. I don't need you. Can you go away? I'm trying to do important stuff, buddy. Oh, really? Quit it. Quit it. Okay. Everybody chill. Everybody chill. Oh, so our pteranodon's getting attacked. Oh, God. What a train wreck. No, no, no. Oh, God. What in the world? Okay. Whew. The swamp is a dangerous place, turns out. We'll just go ahead and let the beaver take care of the titanoboa real quick i was actually worried that guy was going to come over here so this works out fairly well i think he's probably got this under control round two beaver versus snake i don't think that snake stands a chance because that thing hits like a truck do we have any meat here buddy i'm sorry i didn't mean to almost get you killed also i feel like you might pass out on me a little bit are you good okay i think we're good down here did you take care of the uh, snake issue? It would appear that you definitely did. All right, I'm gonna park you right here. Just hang out, everything's gonna be fine. I really hope this works because I don't um, need to die again. Okay, people. No, 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 God bless it. What in the world? <laughs> this is a terrible place to be. Good Lord, dang it. Look at all the bad stuff. We don't have anything we can pick that beaver up with. I'm like 99% sure our pteranodon won't do it. This is a freaking mess. All sorts of bad creatures. You know what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to let the beaver do all the heavy lifting once again. Here we go. This is our chance, people. <laughs> For the third time. This is our chance. Let's not waste it. Let's make it happen. Come on, baby. i get you some, buddy. Also, I hope you can't get me. Be super cool if you couldn't hit me right here. Um, uh, or figure out ramps. Oh, it totally works. <laughs> I'm smarter than a beaver. Okay. This is beautiful. That thing hits really hard. I've always been a fan of these things. They are super duper cool tames. Uh, I think they carry half the amount of wood. So you can really get some materials together pretty quickly with a good beaver tame. I'm like worried about snakes now. They're everywhere. Are you running, buddy? Don't run. No, don't run too far. Don't, don't go into the snake area. Hey, 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 go to sleep. Are you coming back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get stuck, get stuck. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Hang out right there. Everything's gonna be just fine, little buddy. Just go to sleep. Life will be good. I'll take I'll, I'll feed you, I promise. Okay, it's out. It is out. I don't think I hit it an extra time. Let's go get our pteranodon so we can keep you safe from all the snakes. Almost died. What's your name? What's your name? Uh, Floppy Flipster. Almost died, and it would have been real bad news. Also, you bunny pteranodon? Still all safe up here. Okay. This is working out beautifully. Yes. Look at us go. Look at us doing stuff. Crops. We need crops and narcotics. Um, let's give you all of this stuff. Hopefully we brought enough of it. We're not too terribly far from base though. If we need to go get some stuff. What are we looking at? Uh, 2250 on the health. 504 on the stamina. Four, <laughs> I can read numbers. 420 on the weight. 224 on the melee damage. Movement speed at 100%. We are looking good. Also, how's your torpor? Your torpor... It falls a little bit quick, but it's not terrible. We'll see what one bite of crop gets you. Hopefully this doesn't take an eternity, but if I know my experience with beaver taming, it's gonna take a little bit. So, when we get it done, I'll be back with you. And if anything attacks us, I'll bring you back so you can laugh at me and my failures. All right, so far everything has been relatively smooth, but there is a Titan Boa. Why guys, why are you bringing that thing over here? What are you guys doing? Why are y'all trying to mess up my day? Y'all go over there and play. Ah, uh, boy. Okay, here it comes. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this. No, no, no. Come here, stupid. Let's go over here. Please just don't mess with the beaver. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me. Follow me, partner. Let's go over here and let's play games. I think I'm just going to try to kite this thing off. I really don't feel like messing with it. Maybe we could take it out? I don't know. Let's try. Let's give it a go. I'd rather just have it gone so we don't have to worry about it. Hiya! Come on, stupid! You wanna fight? You wanna do this? Yeah! You brought this on yourself! Luckily, it's pretty low level. Okay. No problem. Everything is going pretty smooth with this tame thus far. How many bites have you taken? A couple? A few? We're up to 32%. I've given it 10 narcotics so far. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few more because we do not want this thing to wake up. Whatever we do. Also, I plug the stats into the uh, Dodo decks. All of our stats are average, except for- <gasps> ah! <laughs> Crap! Oh, crap, crap, crap. Dang it, no! You suck so bad! God bless it. Where did you come from? No. No, no. Quit. Oh my god. All of the stats were awesome except for um, a little bit of a um, awesome melee boost that we had there. Luckily, this Titan Boa just showed up and completely is going to kill it, I think. Please don't kill it. Please. Please don't kill it. God bless it. Are you serious? Come on, bro. Over here. I hate you so much. You have no freaking clue. I think it just killed our beaver. It just killed our beaver. Is that thing like a level 20? What level are you? Oh my god. Seriously? I hate you so much. You are just the worst kind of creature. What level is this damn thing? Level 35. A level 35 uh, Titan Boa just um, completely ruined my day a little bit. So, there's that. Um, there's that for you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for that. Guess what? Um, also, I'm pretty sure we just lost all of our narcotics and stuff. Maybe not? No, we didn't. Okay, we still have our stuff. Let's go drop T-Bunny's Pteranodon off at the house before we forget about it. And let's continue the search for a super cool... Like, that sucks so much. It was a good tame. It had 31 points into melee. It had, uh, like, very high melee. And it was beautiful and a female and it was perfect. And, like, where did they even come from? We went from no Titanoboas to three in the blink of an eye. 
That's a bunch of crap. Oh well. Okay. I guess we'll just have to roll with the punches. Let's go get this thing dropped off and we'll look for another one. Okay, everybody. I don't know what level this thing is yet. I'm assuming this is the one. It's gonna be a super good level beaver. It's an eight, you know what? It's an 85. That's not terrible. I'll take it. There was a level 70, and actually this one's mate boosted. So there's another one around here. I just need to locate it. Um, kind of what I've been doing is running around and accessing beaver dams and just like waiting for them all to aggro. The good news is we're getting like tons of good stuff. Um, as far as cementing paste and things like that go. Bad news is I haven't been able to find anything really epic just yet. I will settle for an 85 though. That's not a terrible level. Oh, look at you. <gasps> look how pretty. Let's check this one out. And this is even closer to base. I'm so sad about that freaking 150. That sucks a whole lot. But you know what? Worst things in life have happened. Level 40. Okay, I think we're going to go for the 85. 85 level, um, little male. It's a male and a female. But dang it, the colors on this other one are just like amazing. Oh, well. Oh, well. It is what it is. We're going for that one. Now, how are we going to do this? Um, two beaver dams in the neighborhood. Let's just, um, tell you what, tell you what, we need to take out one of them, if not both of them. I don't know really what the best way to do this is. I guess we could just like start shooting it <laughs> and then we'll just kind of kite it up to land and we'll go from there. 85 is not terrible. Hello. Hello, partner. Can you follow me over here? I don't want you to drown. Oh yeah. Oh God, you're fast. No, no, no. Uh, get on the, get on the, get on the thing, Wombat. Let's get up here. Look at this. Look how smart Wombat is. Ha <laughs> ha. Now we got to get this thing out of the water because I don't want it to drown. Where'd you go? Ninja Beaver. Beaver? I'll, where'd it go? Oh, hey. Yeah, this is where I wanted you. Hey. Hey, buddy. Right here. Oh, this will work. This will work. 85. Reload, please. If my gun could reload, that'd be super cool. Thank you so very much. It's not a 150, but it'll do. I shot it in the butt. I think it's already running. Hi. Hey. No, no, no. Just stay close. Why? Why you gotta run towards dangerous stuff? There's all sorts of dangerous stuff over here. Just pass out. Right here. Ah! <laughs> okay, it's not done yet. Still got a little... Oh, God. No. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have looked again. I knew it. I was like, Wombat, don't look again. Guess what I did? I looked again and it killed me. Luckily, we're about 40 feet from base. So this is this is okay. This is okay. We can recover from this. I legitimately thought it was running. I thought it was done. I guess uh, it had a little more fight in it than I expected. And we're back. Let's get our stuff. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother putting my broken armor back on. You, there's something wrong with you. Go to sleep. Don't you bite me. No, no, no. No, no, no. We need to move a little bit faster, Wombat. Oh, I can't get back up here, can I? Is it running? Are you running now? Now it's running, I think. Uh, beaver? Uh, beaver? What, little beaver body? Where'd you go? Well, good lord. Okay, that thing totally, like, jetted off. I feel like in the direction of the defense unit, if I know my luck at all. Well, dadgummit, Beaver. Would you look who I found? He thought he could get away, but it's not that easy to escape the old wombat. It was pretty epic. And I chased it around and knocked it out a little bit, and I wasn't recording. It didn't realize it, but we got it knocked out. It's asleep. I've got the stuff on it. It's taking its first little bite. It's still got all of its taming effectiveness. You're making me nervous. You need to go away. Also, this dodo was trying to pick fights, so I had to kill it. I had to. I didn't want to. He was looking at me funny. He started saying mean things about how um, the other beaver was cooler and how it was like a better tame. I was like, it's unacceptable, so we had to take it out, obviously. We can't have that kind of negativity flowing around here, so we went ahead and um, got rid of that. Tame is going pretty good so far. Statistically, it's not quite as good. 
Got a thousand health almost. Uh, 184 melee. I don't know that I'm even gonna bother plugging that into the dodo decks because it's just gonna depress me because it'll remind me of how awesome the other beaver was that I couldn't um, couldn't seem to make happen. Let's go ahead and get rid of this body real quick so I don't have to look at it. We are gonna get this little dude all tamed up and then we'll get a saddle together. We'll run around, do a little bit of gathering, get some leveling action going on. Is everything cool around here? I feel like we're in a really safe location too, so we should be in good shape. Yeah, when this thing gets up, we'll go play around on it. And there's a random T-Rex walking across. God bless it, this game. <laughs> this game hates me. Where did you come from? Why is there a random T-Rex? <laughs> Fiomias, you guys are always bringing bad stuff to me. Every time, please don't aggro my beaver. Why? Why do you have to? Oh God, this is not gonna go well. This is not gonna go well even a little bit. No, no, no. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I can get you some, cowboy. Come on. No! God bless it. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate it so much. I hate you. It's just not meant to be. It's not in the cards for us to have a beaver. Like, randomly out of nowhere. Wrecked. Good lord. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let the Rex take care of that beaver. Then we'll go get our stuff. Yeah, he just, like, showed up to wreck my face. Now he's gone. Now he's, <laughs> he's off to ruin someone else's day. Maybe we can sneak in here real quick while he's distracted. Good lord. What are the odds? Actually, I'm kind of curious as to what level it is. It looks really cool, but dang it. All right. Um, <clears throat> third time's a charm. Isn't that what they say? I think that's what they say. That's what people say. So we'll continue. I did go ahead and kill all the beavers off down this direction. Maybe a couple of them have uh, respawned. <sighs> Let's get... Mm. Let's go see what kind of uh, shenanigans we can get into. I'm excited about it. I don't know about you, but I, for one, can't wait to see what happens. I'll be back. Okay, it's gonna work this time. I have a feeling. Also, there's a beaver dam right here. I know we can aggro them with that. Let's put, um, put our buddy up somewhere safe so he doesn't get picked on. Am I gonna die jumping off this? No, we're good. Okay, guys, here we go. This ramp is set a little bit too low. Um, let's make a three high. Just to be safe, because you can't be too safe. And then let's eat a little meat for safety. And then let's make sure we can jump up here. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go. We're going to access. Get out. Run. Run, 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 run. Um, jump. hi -ya! Okay, here come all the beavers. I'm right. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're level 20. So we don't need you. What level are you? I don't even know. Let's get rid of this one. Um, <laughs> Watch this one be super smart. This is a level 70. That's not bad. But what we want to do right now is get rid of the others. Like that one. Over Where are you going, bro? Okay. Tell you what. I think that's the level 80. I'm pretty sure. What if we could get a male and a female? That wouldn't be a bad situation. Um, I don't think we have enough supplies to do that. So let's take out the lower level two, even though this one's kind of cool and looks like a skunk. Let's say level 80. Yeah, there's my level 80 right there. Okay. We got this. We got this under control. Okay, we might have this thing stuck. This is our chance and it's out. Thank God. Let's kill this one. All right, beaver is asleep. That is good news for us. Let's get rid of this one. I really wish uh, they were the opposite colors of each other. Like the higher level one was green because I really dig the colors, but <laughs> all the dead beavers laying around. Good Lord. We did it. It only made me swear and invent cuss words. Like it wasn't even that bad. It wasn't even that big of a deal. All right, level 80 beaver. Could I interest you in some narcotics and um, some vegetables and stuff? 
That was um a whole big thing. If a meteor lands on me and kills this beaver, I'm quitting. I'm straight up quitting. Uh, that's a whole thing. This is actually not a bad setup for the beaver. I just like I happened to have foundations and um ramps on me and kind of thought like, well, maybe this will work for taming this thing. It worked out beautifully. <laughs> oh, we missed. Uh it actually worked out very well. I was kind of pleased with it. Come here, buddy. I need you, uh, yeah. I need you over here. Okay. Third beaver we have, uh, knocked out for the day. This one... I mean, I don't want to say it's going to go well because I'm sure something's going to show up and try to ruin my life a little bit. But fingers crossed this one will be okay. Statistically, what are we looking at? What do we got going on here? Uh, 1080 health. That's not bad. 172 melee. 378 stamina. I feel like that's a little bit of a high food... I don't know. I'll plug the stats into the Dodo decks. We'll get this thing all tamed up. And we will go from there. Keep your fingers crossed for me. And nothing shows up. And we did it! Thank the good lord. Um, I'm just gonna um, do this for now. I don't know what I... <laughs> I don't know what I want to name you just yet. Little beaver buddy! Oh my god, we got it done! Ooh, I feel relieved. Level 119? Not too shabby, 1620 health, 238 melee, 432 stamina, and uh, 372 weight. I'll tell you what, buddy, you can keep the crops as a gift from me to you. Even though you were a major pain in the butt to tame, we're not going to worry about it. Now, the next, uh, the next trick. We can go one of two ways. Where are we at on the map, actually? We're over here, we need to go this way. So, I feel like we're just going to head off in this direction. And, um... I'm just going to leave that stuff there. I don't feel like carrying it back. It makes my uh, Tyranodon so heavy. We're going to see if we can get our little buddy back to the base. Um, fingers crossed. What is that? What was that? What are you? Uh-huh. You trying to start trouble? You going to start trouble? What are you? Little Dillo, why are you running away? I'm so confused. Level 55 Dillo. Not really attacking. That's odd. Okay, any way around it, it's dead. We're going to see if we can't get this thing home. We're going to make a saddle. And then um, we'll go check it out together. All right, saddles, castroid. Let's make it. Let's make this happen. We're finally making progress, guys. This day has been a whole big, exciting, um, emotional thing. But I think we're in good shape. Also, we're dehydrated a little bit. That's okay. Water. All right, we finally did it and it wasn't even that big of a deal is the cool thing about it We got a saddle you can keep your fruit and stuff. We got three levels to bump already I kind of want to not walk off the edge Let's go down here and do a little bit of the wood gathering now if I remember right We should um, we should only weigh half as much with wood So I'm pretty sure we can get quite a bit of stuff going I think movement speed might be something we need to invest in a little bit. We're already at 170. Maybe, maybe a little melee. Just because apparently there's random T-Rexes like outside here. So that wouldn't be cool to run into. Let's go beat up on some trees and see what kind of uh, resources we get. Bam! 400. Why did that weigh you down so much? Why is that weighing you down so much? Oh God. Uh, 25 in your inventory, 50 in mine. So yeah, wood weighs half as much. We are still looking like we need to pump a little bit of weight because that's not going to work. I mean, that's a good chunk of wood. Don't get me wrong. That's not bad at all. But, um, it's kind of a long trip and we want to make the most out of each run. Hey, look, it's that Rex. Dare we? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty much the only way to discover whether or not your beaver's good or not. You know what I mean? And hopefully we can run away from it. And also, I kind of want to see what this thing hits for. All right, Rex. Time to meet your match, sir. Please don't dismount me also. That thing is, like, super stuck. Okay, he's hitting us for 34. What level? I can't see what level it is. Buddy? Oh, it's just a level 20 Rex. Nothing to it but to do it. Let's get it done. Let's get it on. Come on, Rex. Oh, look at this. He's getting bloody. And it's dead. We did it. Okay. What were we hitting for? 
like 80 something. I wasn't even paying attention. I was a little bit nervous and afraid we were going to die, but that is not the case. I think we were hitting for 70 or 80. Here's a fish. We can uh, try this out again real quick. Maybe I can pay attention this time. Okay, we're hitting for 70. Not bad at all. A very good wood gatherer, as you all can see. Um, a bit of a hassle to tame, if I'm being completely honest with you. I don't remember him being this bad, but... And also, I'm stuck a little bit. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of a hassle to tame. They hit really, really hard, and they're fast. And the uh, flea mechanic is a little bit goofy. They will go away for a long time, and then out of the blue, they're coming back at you. So you got to pay attention to that. We got to name it. We got to name our buddy. Um, Let's see. Options. Change name. I want a cool W name because we can do the initial like that. We'll go with uh, uh, Wayne. <laughs> your name is Wayne, sir. Hope you like your name. Guys, I hope you did enjoy hanging out with me today. A little bit of a change of pace. I think it was uh, I think it was good. It was extremely frustrating, but we had a good time. But I am going to go do a little bit of wood gathering. I hope you guys did enjoy hanging out with me today. A little bit of a change of pace. I had a good time with it. It was extremely frustrating, but um, we got it done. We didn't get the 150. But, you know, not too bad. Little Wayne is going to be a valuable asset. Going to be a good little dino for us. Um, I think I still need to pick up all the foundations back in my base, though, and move everything over, like, three feet. So I've got that to look forward to. Good news is we uh, I have no wood. I dropped it off. We've got plenty of wood. We have access to wood now. So I think I'm probably going to call it a day here. I, um, I feel like this is... Uh, Taking a lot more time than it probably should have. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, uh, later.